Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Sorry that I haven't been uploading a month because I've been working on a Facebook page. There has been a thing that like about two days ago. Or something I don't know. But, um, I will be talking about the Momo challenge. Because, um, I heard about a few people on YouTube are doing the Momo challenge. So the Momo challenge is like um let me get it up my on my computer. It will be about a few minutes. So like the Momo challenge mm. So it says here, the Momo challenge is an alleged form for cyberbullying, cyberbullying that spreads through social media and cell phones. After phone users are intense to contact a user named Momo, they receive graphic threats from the user and are instructed to perform a series of dangerous tasks. There is a link about it in the link in the description below from Wikipedia. So there is a news article from two channels, Denver 7 and Inside Edition. So I'll play this one. Police are warning of a new viral challenge that may have caused at least one person to take their own life. A 12-year-old girl's death is being blamed for the so-called Momo game. According to the Buenos Aires Times in Argentina. I believe that this needs to be brought to awareness so we can like talk about it and get other people knowing that what exactly they need to look out for. Shane Andrews is a vlogger from Georgia who quote exposes the truth and uncovers the internet's greatest mysteries on his Revzilla channel. He says he's tried Momo. Upon uh, actually trying to communicate with the Momo uh, uh, WhatsApp girl. Uh, I was met with some very violent images and text messages that I cannot show. But the messages were, were scary. They, they said that they knew personal things about me, which they could not possibly know. The game reportedly prompts social media users to add unknown contacts using WhatsApp. The person controlling those contacts then asks users to share photos and videos of them attempting to hurt themselves. It's being compared to the Blue Whale Challenge. They want you to do small tasks like wake up at odd hours, uh, overcome a fear, but then it escalates quickly by the last challenge uh, doing things like jumping off of a house and ending your life. Miami police warned of the Blue Whale Challenge last year with this video. Unlike other social media challenges, this challenge is a sinister one. As for the Momo challenge, WhatsApp said in a statement, quote, WhatsApp cares deeply about the safety of our users. It's easy to block any phone number, and we encourage users to report problematic messages to us so we can take action. Andrews plans to bring more attention to the dangers of this challenge on his YouTube channel as well. Do not tell them anything about yourself. Now, we don't know exactly who is on the other end of this. It could be anyone, but it doesn't seem like they have your best interest at heart. I'm Lee Sheps for InsideEdition.com. So, I will be putting the video link from Inside Edition.
discussion and the link in the description down below. Also, I will be putting down the Denver News. Article Thank people across news. the world are spreading Sorry. awareness for World Suicide Prevention Day. Well, right here in Colorado, parents are warning each other about a new below. game targeting people with suicidal tendencies. And Denver 7's Connor West joins us to explain what this disturbing Momo challenge is. Yes, it is a very strange name, but it is very disturbing and it's important to talk about. So this challenge involves people taking commands from unknown numbers and social media accounts for 50 days. And the part that's extremely concerning is the dangerous tasks that the so-called Momo character is asking players to perform. The Momo challenge passes itself off as a game, but it is certainly not that. It's creating a situation where they're contemplating very dangerous situations for themselves. Here's the first clue for parents to be concerned with. The image of this Japanese statue of a woman with bulging eyes and scary features. Here's how this dangerous challenge goes. Users start communicating with Momo on Facebook or WhatsApp, a free messaging service. They're given a series of tasks to finally meet the Momo and those tasks start off small but then escalate quickly to violent acts with photos for proof. The Momo intimidates and threatens those who don't follow its instructions and the final challenge can be anywhere from harming to killing yourself. Local schools including American Academy and Parker recently sent out emails to parents warning them of the challenges they are most concerned about, Momo being one of them. There's something new every day that we have to watch for and make sure everybody understands the repercussions behind most of these challenges. Law enforcement agencies have put out warnings about the Momo challenge. The game is reportedly being played in the United States and around the world. The challenge first came to light after being linked to the suicide of a 12-year-old girl in Argentina. She left behind a video on her phone of the tasks she took before her death. There haven't been any reported deaths from the Momo challenge in the U.S. so far. Technology experts say this is an opportunity for parents to remind their kids not to trust unknown numbers and to not click on unidentified links. Experts also encourage you to change email and social media passwords very frequently and block unknown numbers inviting you to play right away. In studio, I'm Connor West, Denver 7. As you heard it there. So, I urge you... To not to do the Momo challenge at all. So make sure that all parents and grandparents to monitor our son, sons, daughters, grandsons, granddaughters. devices like cell phones and social media as well. Also contact the Suicide Prevention Lifeline if you are going to commit suicide or anything. Please call them on the screen at the end of this video. So leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Goodbye.